And this is Isaac from the future. I just filmed the video, but if you guys don't know what this is, this is an Elgato. This is dope as fuck. I'm going to start streaming after all my videos. Not this video, but next video, because I'm going to set it up. But check, like, make sure you guys watch my streams, because I'm going to be playing Fortnite, and like, I'm not that good, but you guys can play with me, and it'll be cool. So a lot of you kids have been commenting on my Reddit and asking me questions about how to take a better shot. You say your shot sucks, you can't get in on someone's legs, and you ask me how to fix it. And I actually had the same problem. I was terrible on my feet. And then when I got into college, I learned like a different kind of shot and it changed my whole game. Now I can take down almost anyone. You know what I mean? So, so the difference between the, like the shot I learned in college and the shot I learned in high school. In high school, they didn't really emphasize putting a lot of effort into your shot. You know what I mean? Like when you shoot, it has to be 110% commitment because you don't want to shoot again. You know what I mean? If you don't like put literally all of your effort into like getting in on this kid's legs, you're not gonna get them and you're gonna have to stand back up and shoot again and it's gonna suck a bunch of dick, I'm telling you. Like in college, I was actually forced to like push myself because if not, then I was gonna get the shit kicked out of me. In high school, you learn how to take a shot and like in middle school and everyone learns how to take this kind of shot, right? You get into a, good, you get into a stance and you drop to a knee, okay? It looks like this, right? Your power comes from your back leg and you drop to your knee, right? You try to put your knee in between your opponent's legs, right? So if I'm wrestling and someone's shooting on me, ideally their knee would land right here. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm gonna do this quickly. I'm gonna do this as quickly as I can, okay? Now in college, I learned something different. I learned that instead of trying to hit the mat and then hit their legs, hit their legs and just run at them. You know what I'm saying? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna kick your butt and pull your leg up. All right, and while your foot is in the air, you're gonna straighten your back leg out. And then when your um, front leg touches the mat, you're gonna start running. You know what I mean? I'm gonna like, Ideally, I'll run through that wall, right? If I had a full mat, I would run straight through that wall. Okay, so get me. Try that again. It's just straightening this leg and then straightening this leg. So I'm gonna shoot on Johnny, okay? Watch how watch how different my level changes. Watch how, you know what I mean? Okay, so if I'm trying to shoot on Johnny and I want a level change to my knee, I have to get right here. But if I drop I'm saying I just hit myself in the face with his knee, but I blow him over. You know what I'm saying? See the difference? One looks almost like a football tackle, and the other one looks like you're just like reaching. You know what I mean? You're like your distance, like you're trying to go for distance, but his legs get in the way. You know what I mean? You're trying to hit his legs with as much momentum as you can, and if you let your knee touch the mat, you let it stick there. All of your energy gets transferred into the mat. You you see how like the mat goes forward? That's energy going into the mat. And I'm losing that momentum. Now imagine having all of that energy that you just saved, right? And all of the extra energy you're getting from your front leg. Because before, if you were shooting with your front leg first, like you were 
and pulling with your front leg, you know what I mean, to shoot to them, you are shooting at like 0.25 times speed. Like you are slow as f <laughs> like really fucking slow. Anyone with like any good hips, if you're pulling from your front leg, is going to just, they're gonna smack you on the mat. They're gonna put your back onto the mat like a magnet. You're gonna suck dick. As soon as my front leg hits the ground and I feel Johnny's shoulders, or Johnny's hips, or like on my shoulders, my arms are immediately grapevining, this leg like straightening, and I'm circling. Okay? You're either trying to pick his leg up or stop his leg from moving and push his hips over. Okay? That's the whole idea. So, what you're gonna do, all right, is you're going to shoot, right? As soon as this leg, as soon as I feel his hips touch me, I wrap around his leg, I strain this leg, and I'm circling. You know what I mean? So when you drill that, when you drill that, when like when you're just like in normal, like you're just like coach is saying, drill in the whistle, and it's gonna look like this. Okay. A lot of energy. You make, you create a lot of energy and it is very exhausting. But if you don't get exhausted, you're gonna get the shit kicked out of you. In drilling, you wanna be imitating a live wrestling match. You don't want to be going, like you don't wanna prepare for shitty wrestlers. You wanna prepare for the good ones. You know what I mean? And shitty wrestlers just like go half ass. Okay, so another thing to notice is how quick my level change is. My level change, like I go in straight lines, you know what I mean? I go down and out. Whereas when I go, when I drop to a knee, I just come down at an angle. You know what I mean? And when, like, when you go down and out, you're, you just clear a lot more stuff. You know what I mean? You go a lot lower, a lot quicker. When, you're, when you pick your foot up, you literally fall at 10 meters per second squared or whatever. The only thing stopping you is the friction of air. If you want to get good at this, the drills you do are as follow. Okay, you have to get good at falling to a knee. Okay, so you're going to be in a... You're going to be in a stance. You're going to be in a stance. Stance in motion, stance in motion, fuddle. Okay? You're going to do that a lot. You're gonna, that's like one of the fundamental feelings that you need to get. The, like, the quicker you can follow a knee, the quicker you can just decide, the quicker you can fire off your shot, okay? And then, you're gonna work on straightening this back leg out. All right, so it's gonna be. It's gonna be, okay, so it's gonna be, follow knee, straighten that leg out, and you go arms forward. All right, once you get good at that, once you get good at that, then you're gonna work, instead of falling to a knee, you're gonna work falling to your foot, okay? So that you can be ready for, like, to generate force with this leg. Then after you've done that a lot of times, like, I mean, a lot of times, then you can chain it all together, and it's going to look like,
So if you guys like that video and you found it helpful or informative and you want me to do more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, follow me on my journey to my MMA fight. But until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.